Hi, in this video, we're going to be talking about interval sessions. Now, an interval session can be focused on the amount of time you're running for, or it can be based on the amount of distance you cover. So an example of a time based interval session would be something like um, eight times one minute of hard effort with 90 seconds or two minutes recovery after each minute of hard work or a distance based interval session could be something like six to 10 reps of 400 meters with two minutes rest in between. So an, um, an interval session, um, the recoveries really depend on how long your rep is gonna be. So if you're doing a really explosive 100 meter to 200 meter rep, then your rest times need to be longer because you're mostly focusing on your anaerobic energy system. And it takes a lot longer for those reserves to recover before you can then tap into them properly and use them again. Whereas if you're doing longer reps, then the energy system you're mostly using is your oxidative or aerobic energy system. And so you can afford to have um, recoveries that aren't quite so long. In terms of the benefits, it strengthens your heart through increasing the stroke volume, so the amount of blood that is pumped with every beat. It sharpens your anaerobic energy system and it also helps you to improve and practice your quicker leg turnover. Intervals are also really good for strengthening the muscle fibres that you already have <clears throat> and the connective tissue as well, so things like your tendons. So that's all I need to say about interval sessions. There's lots of different variations for these. Um, you can make them as long or as short as you want, depending on the distance that you're training for. So lo lots of things to play around with for this. I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't play around with too many things in one go though. So if you were thinking of doing 400 meter reps to begin with, then maybe just increase the number of reps a few times first in terms of a progression or try and run each rep slightly faster but stick to the same number of reps so a little bit like your science tests at school again don't try and change more than one variable at time so that you've got a decent way of measuring and, and seeing how you're progressing along your training okay see you on the next video